Hello class, this is a brief introductory video on the Olympus CKX41. So I had to start up the computers and start up the microscope. First thing you should do is make sure you can turn on the computers. This is the PC, you'll need it for Zoom and for PowerPoint and anything on the internet. And that is, the power button is right here. This is the Macintosh that runs the microscope. Here's the microscope. So take the cover off, you can put it back here. And the microscope is run by the Macintosh and the power button for the Macintosh is on the corner back here. So both the powers are sort of hidden. Push them in. And then the monitor button is here and here. If nothing is coming on, then the power strip is off. The power strip is down there below, okay? This one logs in onto student. Log in. And then this one, you also do student. Okay. Now, this is running the camera right here. So the camera cable is good in here. The camera power is right up top here. And the Power for the microscope for the bright field is down here. That's the light here. Well, actually, the light's here. Goes down through. The objective lenses are down here, and you can turn them. Use the turret to turn them. You have the stage right here. And move these things back into their position. Okay. Um, let's see. One more power is the power for the fluorescence bulb is back here. Only turn on the fluorescence if you need it. When you turn on the fluorescence, do not turn it off for another hour, and then you have to wait another hour to turn it on. So basically, once you turn it on, leave it on until you're really done. And don't turn it on if you need it. When you turn on the fluorescence, you need to record in here your name, your date, the hours that it started and the hours that it finished and the hours are located on the front here on the little readout on the front of the fluorescence power okay the fluorescence bulb itself is back here this is the bulb housing it's a mercury bulb very expensive and fragile and it gets hot and is a little toxic so don't don't mess with it let's see Okay, in no particular order. Focus, course focus, fine focus, stage forward and back, stage left and right. You have the phase slider here, which you're gonna need your cheek cells for. So we'll do that again. You should have done that in 101. We're gonna make some more. Uh, this is the slider for the camera. All the way in is just the oculars. Halfway is 80% ocular. Well, maybe it's 80% camera, 20% ocular, but it's part ocular, part camera, and then all the way out is all camera, no ocular. And sometimes you need it all camera when you're doing fluorescence, for example. You need all the light you can possibly get. Um, let's see. This is saying there's a new version of LASX software. You can just hit no. But I am now canceling that, so don't update the software. This is only for PC use, and you're gonna need your USB to go from here to there. The USB, you need to, you need to stick the USB in the back of this. It's a little bit of a pain, but this is an old camera, and it only plugs into this. We can't plug it into the new one, so we're sort of stuck. You need two computers. And let's see, what else do you got? Oh yeah. Fluorescence slider is down here. There's a, there's BF, B, and G. Bright field, blue, and green. Bright field is just the regular white light. B is in the middle, so right now I've pushed it all the way this way, and that's BF. If I go to the middle, sort of where it clicks, that is B, blue light excitation. And then if I go all the way to the left and feel it click, 
On the other side, now I can see a green with a little dot below it, and green is green excitation, red emission for fluorescence. So we want to start in bright field, so we'll put it here. And bright field bulbs here. If you don't want phase, you take this out nicely. It's just a plastic slider and put it on to the side and then just leave it there. And if you're going to, so most of your samples in the beginning will be this, no phase. I think we did the cheek cell week two or something. You're gonna get a box like this and you're gonna label it with your name. It'll be your box inside right now. This is how you open it. Got to squeeze it, make sure the slides don't fall out. The little part is the top. It'll say top on it, okay? Looks like this. Then all of these slides, they're in here, and there's a whole set of them, and you can transfer from here into here because this is a better slide This This one is sort of a pain. It doesn't lock closed, and so it can all fall out. But it's a whole bunch of plant samples in here. And inside here is one corn and one onion root tip, okay? And we're going to start with the corn slides. And you're going to do project zoom and then some fluorescence, okay? So these are your two slides. Let's see, what else? Oh yeah, you start the Kyogen software here. Oh boy, this, oops, <laughs> that mouse is that. This mouse, oops. This mouse here, you go down to the bottom and you want to start the Q Capture Suite. That runs the camera, okay? Start that and you get this, it's a little window. And let me see if I can zoom in here for you. Okay, it is, all right, you see, this is the, the window, you can make it, you can zoom in and make it bigger. Why don't I put in a slide right now? Okay, I'll put in the corn slide. Okay, because it's an inverted microscope, the objective lenses come from below. So you have to take the sample and flip it upside down, okay? So you gotta flip it down. And you never touch the sample, do not touch. Like do the sides or right here, okay? So I'm gonna take it and turn it upside down. There, go down below here. Go to red, which is the, the red turret is gonna be 4X. Okay, and then take out this because I don't want that. All right, let's see if I can get both of these in at the same time. Okay, 4X, bright field, upside down, rheostat on for the light. This is the light path here. This is a halogen bulb up there. And now, why is it black? Because this is in. So I go part way. oops, there we go. And we can start seeing it. Turn the rheostat way down here, and now you can see the sample. And I can go all the way out, gets a little brighter. Move it around, okay? What you're gonna use is you wanna use exposure, gain, put the, off, the offset should be zero, gain should be one, exposure should be below 100 milliseconds. You want 8-bit, one by one, and I could even do auto exposure here. That might help a little. Auto exposure works if you have the whole sample, and now maybe focus a little. There we go. And you can see these faces. They're sort of funny looking faces. Those are nice. So I'm gonna go to the top of the sample, and they look a little bit more like faces here. Okay, see all the faces there. And this is 4X, if you want to take, uh, you could, there's some advanced stuff, but I don't think we need this yet. 
So you just do basic there, and then when you want to take a picture, you do the thing called snap, snap an image, kaboom. And then you have to save it. If you don't save it, you don't get it. Go to file. So by the way, snap was here, it made this. It's an untitled snap. You go file, save, and then it's gonna ask you where. And I wanna do desktop. Okay, I'm gonna make a new folder for BioSci 102 Fall 2021. Okay, create that. I'm gonna go in here and then I am just gonna make another new folder for you. This is where you do your folder. So I'm gonna do Nathan. And you should create your own name inside BioSci 102 Fall. Okay, now the naming conventions. It says Snap, I don't want Snap. Snap's a silly name. I want TIFF and I want RAW, okay? Oh no, I want Processed. Processed in TIFF, but the name is NP space 082621. So initials, space, month, month, date, date, year, year, space, uh, corn slide, bright field, 4X. Okay, take that, hit save, boom. I don't need that anymore. Now I'm gonna go down here up to 10X. And... Maybe it needs to be brighter. It does need to be brighter. And focused a little. So when you get this, go back to your oculars, double check, see if it's in focus. There we go. And as you can see, we're really zoomed in. Oh, well that's why, because that is 40X, not 10X. I went the wrong way. Okay, go the other way. 10X is yellow. And too bright. So I'll turn down the my rail stat until I get it. There we go. Needs to focus a little there, perfect. And you could adjust these exposures if you want to. You could do auto exposure and then snap the image, save the image, save as or just save, it doesn't matter. I'm back in Nathan here. And so here's the tricky, you can just click the old one that has all my information, except it'll overwrite it. So I don't wanna overwrite it, I wanna put 10X, boom, done. And then so on and so on. You do 20X and 40X. And take them all and that's zooming in. And then you're gonna do some overlays with fluorescence. So I hope my head wasn't in the way too much. And I hope you could see that all. And uh, welcome to class, bye bye. Oh yeah, one last thing. You'll need to transfer all this to your zip drive, USB, and then put it over there. All right, welcome to class.